Hey, good. It's actually afternoon. It's 1234 right now. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mark. I am the founder of knapsack.com. That's N-A-P-S-A-C-K.com. Um, luckily, my site is still running. I don't know how for how much longer. I really need you guys' support uh, if you want, where we can have true conversations without being um, censored. Just go onto my site, nap-sack.com. Check it out. You can also cash at me. Um, dollar sign M A R C C H I N A M A, or I'll also have the link down below where you can cash at me and it would help. And I will post or say every time who donated and where that money is going to. So this isn't no shakedown, I promise. <laughs> I assure you, and I promise you. Um, you guys are more than welcome to ask me questions here but um more than likely if you want um check out my website let's have that discussion i'm always ready to talk uh i want to run over something um that i was reading today a guy named kevin samuels now honestly i didn't even know who kevin samuels was the reason why i learned about him was I saw some people, mostly mostly a lot of black women, and there were some black men who attacked him. They said they hate his guts. They, I mean, they really attacked this guy, really put him down, said some stuff. And um, I, I, I had to figure out who is this guy. So I went in and I started listening to what he was saying. Uh, some of the stuff he could be very, very... Um, aggressive with his with some of the stuff he say could come off very um that's the word I'm looking for like like he can be degrading especially women however I had to listen to this guy see our problem is we don't really like to listen I had to listen to this guy and this is what I I get at and I'm a true believer in this and I think it really needs to change Black men today, well, men in general, I try not to go with um, one race, but I'm going with a race today because this is the truth and it has nothing to do with oppression or anything like that. This is the truth. Black men are probably the most um, put down race and gender ever in America uh, so not only that and and they get a lot of put down from and this is the truth from black women I give you an example child support which um, Bill Clinton and Joe Biden changed the laws with, with when they call it the welfare reform it was a part of the housing and all this other stuff which Bill Clinton destroyed our economy in 2008 because of his house and changes and so forth. But I digress. When they changed the welfare system and everything, they changed it so that the law would really... they It was supposed to hit home, but it didn't. What it did was it put more black men in prison, in jail, prison, and left a lot of black men in debt. I left a lot of black men where they can't get a driver's license. And the sad part is, with a license, with a driver's license, you can get jobs like top paying jobs, like um, a driving job or so forth. But because the child support system is so, so politically corrupt, and I say politically corrupt because it was politicians who who changed the laws and with the women movement which became a more power hungry group they basically caused um, the downfall of black men in society so you do get a lot of black men that's, that, that can climb that ladder but the problem is now they we're so politically correct and all this other garbage that most black men have to 
toe the line just so they can reach a certain plateau. So today, black men are being put down and, and they're being put down by black women because a lot of black women mostly, and it's the truth, income. We, we see what's on TV, the, 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 the Kim Kardashians and all this other stuff. Black women are going out, they're getting butt injections. They, I don't even know why they're doing that. They're getting all this stuff. Everything fake about them so that they can be seen as in a certain uh in a certain standard and they and they all drive cars they have cars everything like that now i'm not saying every black woman because there's some black women that's struggling out there but if you look in today's society a lot of black you can find black women that have cars they're doing okay and then you have a lot of black men and there's black men that's doing good but let's look at the stats and you'll see who leads in prison population who pays the most in child support and go to jail is black men. And we're only 14%, 13% in society and soon will fall. Um, we have to regroup. We as black people should be saying, okay, the current child support system is, is, is not fixing anything. We need to address it. We need to. Um, we need to. It needs to be addressed. It needs to be adjusted. And there needs to be changes. Now, I'm not saying end child support because there there are custodial parents that need help. The problem is, while you're getting the help, you're destroying the other ones. And then, because of the the laws and how they've done things since the Civil Rights Act passed, the animosity between the black man and the black woman has gotten bad. I'm a part of that too because there was animosity with me and uh, one one individual that I used to date and we had a child. And so I fall in that category. We all would like to make changes in our lives, but it is what it is. And the only thing we can do is try to make it better. And so, what's so I guess what I'm trying to say is I went through that whole issue, but I don't want to see the next generation because as I look at it, the only thing that's going to happen is the, the debt, black, black debt will continue to rise. Black men will continue going to jail, prison. And then the animosity, the anger that the black man black woman have with each other they'll never be a part of that child's life and then the child suffers so i'm a realist i didn't think of this back then but as you get older you start to realize that hey there are some things that we should have i i should have done a long time ago so we need to address this I'm getting ready to run in, take care of some business. I got to I gotta still make sure my website is, is running. So please, once again, if you get the chance, go check out my website, nap-sack.com. And if you want to donate, please, by all means, I'll try my best to make a, a donation site so that people could donate and try to help keep the site up and running because it's, it's rough out there. Some server fees have gone up and when you're the only one paying it and they're asking for a lot it gets hard and i'm not facebook but i don't believe what facebook is doing is right and elon musk took over twitter so hopefully that we'll see some better times there but you know knapsack is the alternative to facebook and i want it whereby people can express their views and opinions without being censored unless you're making racial threats or or you're just straight out. But if you're a racist, please, by all means, post. Because then the world can see who you really are. And on that note, my name is Mark Chinema. Thanks for le letting me say a few things. If you disagree with what I just said, please, by all means, let's have a discussion. It's not about hate with each other or anything. It's about learning and growing. Thank you, guys. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye.